What's going on everybody, Gareth here, FCP here. Welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're replacing the kidney grills on this 2012 328i behind us. So some of you may or may not know, but BMW wants you to remove the entire bumper cover in order to replace the kidney grills on really any F30 car, which is kind of crazy. That's a lot of work. There's a workaround for that. We're going to show you how to do that today. In lieu of replacing the grills on this car with the stock ones, we're upgrading to these M Sport ones that have this nice gloss finish to them. These are a genuine BMW item. Truth be told, uh, they're really the only grills that properly fit these cars. Generally speaking, a lot of the aftermarket grills don't fit properly. So these are the only ones we recommend. And they're going to add quite a bit of style to the front of this car when we're done. So now that we said that, let's talk about some of the tools we're going to need to do this job. So given that BMW wants you to remove the entire front bumper cover, it might seem surprising that there's such few tools required for the job, and that's because you don't need to remove the front bumper cover, but you do need to remove it partially. And for that, you're gonna need a T30 and a T25 Torx, I'm using these um, Torx drivers, basically screwdrivers. Uh, this multi-angled pick, you're gonna find out very soon why that's extremely important for the job. And it's gonna to help to have a little flashlight like this just so you can see the area that you're working within. But other than that, it looks way more intimidating than it actually is, it's super simple. And now that we talked about the tools we're going to need, let's go and get right into it and you'll see how easy this is to do yourself. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, hood seal here, pull that off. We're just going to chuck that right off to the side for now. Once you rip that seal off, it's going to give you access to six T30s and two T20s. Um, they're right here along the top of the hood. So we're going to loosen those up, remove them entirely. That allows us to pull the front fascia forward a little bit. The bumper cover is relatively flexible. Uh, but it does have its limits, so I want to be somewhat careful about that. But we're just going to remove all these screws. Now that we've done that, you can see we can move the front bumper cover around quite a bit. We're going to use the replacement grill as a point of reference for where all the tabs are. I'm going to start on the top by releasing these three tabs. I'm also going to try to get this one at the side. And once those are released, I can work on the ones on the bottom, and then I should be able to pull the whole thing off from there. I'm going to use this little hook tool here, and I want to pry up to get these to start releasing. And I'm pulling at the same time because as, I want to, as I'm releasing the tabs, I want them to come out of their location. So I was able to take this angled pick reach down in between the slat and pull up like that. And I was pulling the grill forward as I was doing it, therefore helping release. And then this one in the rear, I kind of did the same thing. I just came in from the side like that, hooked it, pulled it forward, and was able to release it. While you have the grill out, it's obviously a lot of dust that's built up in between there, so it doesn't hurt to clean it up. Using a little bit of Grio out speed shine on this. Not a sponsor. So installation is actually really straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and line up the grill, and you're just going to push, and you're done. So installation is obviously much easier than removal, um, but removal is not too bad, especially when you have this multi-angled pick. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall the bumper cover. Uh, you have these little metal tabs here, so you want to go ahead and try to get the bumper cover to slide underneath or into these metal tabs. This kind of holds everything in place. This one is being a little, a little touchy there, so I'll just use that pick. There we go. And this helps basically align the front bumper cover. Here we have our T30 screws. So we're just going to go ahead and start those by hand. Those are the six. Some of these uh, body nuts are a little bit out of alignment, so I'm just pulling them back into alignment. And then the smaller T20 screws go out here where the headlight is. Go ahead and Thread the T30s in. And now the T20s. 
And now we'll go ahead and reinstall this seal. Kind of goes on this crease here. So you want to line the groove up on the seal and then push into place. Now admire your work. So as you can see, it's really easy to, to do the job. Uh, obviously, you know, it looks a little bit more intimidating than it really is. If you have that special pick, it makes everything go by a lot easier. So uh, these particular grills make everything look a lot nicer, especially if you're not a fan of chrome. I'm personally not. I know some people are, but I like this style a lot better. And in my opinion, it's worth the upgrade. It makes the front of the car look a lot better. Uh, but even if you were installing the factory grills, it's going to be the same process. So I hope you learned some of this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment box below. Hit that like button if you like the video. Also, subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way. As always, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.